I'm Leticia with Davis Instruments, and today we're going to go over the maintenance of your Vantage View ISS. What's great about this station is it's super simple to take care of. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the ring collector. You want to make sure you get rid of all the debris from inside the ring collector cone. Remove the debris screen to properly clean it. You can use a pipe cleaner or a brush. Simply replace the debris screen into the cone. Next, we'll move to cleaning the tipping screen mechanism. Simply untighten the thumb screw to release it. You can use a damp cloth to clean the spoon. When necessary, use some clear water to give it a rinse. Then, just go ahead and replace it. Tighten the thumb screw, and your rain collector is ready to go. The exterior portion of the shield should be wiped down with a damp cloth when you see excessive dirt or buildup on the shields. Once a year, you should do a really good cleaning uh, by removing the shield so you can access the sensor. There's two screws that we'll be removing so that we can do that. Once you remove the screws, the shields will drop down. Make sure to keep them in the exact order that they were in. Squeeze the sides of the basket to remove it from the sensor. Use a brush to give this mesh a good cleaning. When necessary, use mild soap and water. Make sure to dry it thoroughly before replacing it onto the sensor. Make sure not to spray any water onto the sensor as that can affect its function. Once complete, simply replace the radiation shields in the order that you removed them. Your temperature and humidity sensor maintenance is complete. And that's it. The maintenance of your Vantage View ISS is just that easy.